Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make my beetroot, walnut and goat's cheese salad. So to get started you'll need six beetroot that have been peeled and cut into cubes. I've now finished peeling all of the beetroot into cubes and these are the sorts of sizes you'd like, like that. Um, now to this you're going to add some cumin, I really like the addition of cumin, I think it just takes it to another level. Add, add as much or as little as you would like, like I said I really like the addition so I do add quite a lot. Add some olive oil, just do it by eye, add as much or as little as you'd like again. You don't want it drowning in it obviously, but you do want it to be well coated. Add some salt. I like to use Himalayan salt as it's the healthier option. If you don't have Himalayan salt, try and find some flaked salt, like uh, Malden salt. That's a really good alternative. Then add some pepper, cracked pepper. Give this a good mix so that each piece of beetroot is coated. And there you go, it's well coated, you can have a look there. Each piece of beetroot at least has some cumin on it and that's what you're looking for. Now tip this onto a baking tray and just spread out the beetroot so that the beetroot is nice and even on the baking tray and that way it cooks well and evenly and you don't get some bits that are burnt and some bits that aren't cooked. There you go. Now place this in the oven for about half an hour at around 180 centigrade on a fan assisted setting. I've preheated my oven so I'm just going to put it in there and I'll let you know when it's done. So I took the beetroot out of the oven and let it cool completely and as you can see the beetroot kind of shrivels up and decreases in size and you're looking for it to be tender and just yummy. So tip it all into a mixing bowl and this can be either eaten on the day or made in advance. Um, it does keep in the fridge for about five days. To your beetroot you add half a cup of chopped walnuts. Now you don't have to buy chopped walnuts, you can easily do it yourself. You buy a whole, whole walnut and just simply crush it with your hand. It's really as easy as that. Tip it in here and then to that you will add 100 grams of goat cheese and I've just crumbled it with my hands. Now I like to add just a hint of cumin as a little extra. And lastly, pomegranate molasses. This stuff is amazing. It's used a lot in Turkish food. Just pour it over. You can add as much or as little as you'd like. I'm just going to add a little, mix it and see if I need any more. Add some olive oil. And I'm just going to add some more pomegranate molasses. And stir. This is perfect to have alongside a nicely roasted chicken or some steamed fish, whatever you like really, it makes the perfect side to any meal. There you go, all done! And that's what you're looking for. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!